हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस सीक्वेंस नेम इज स्वान एस डब्ल्यू ए एन और यू कैन से एस डब्ल्यू आई दिस सीक्वेंस इज मेनली यूज इन अ जी एम आई स्कैनर फुल फॉर्म ऑफ स्वान इज ससेप्टेबिलिटी वेटेड एंजियोग्राफी और यू कैन से एस डब्ल्यू आई ससेप्टेबिलिटी वेटेड इमेजेस दिस सीक्वेंस इज मेनली यूज टू डिटेक्ट माइक्रो हेमरेजेस कैल्सिफिकेशन और आयरन डिपोजिशंस इन मैनी केसेज यू कैन यूज दिस सीक्वेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई कैन से फॉर वेस्कुलर मारफॉर्मेशन एंड सेकेंड विल बी अ सर्वे इन फॉक्स इन विच यू कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट वेदर इट्स अ हेमरेजिक और नॉन हेमरेजिक दैन आफ्टर फॉर द ट्रामेटिक ब्रेन टू रूल आउट द माइक्रो हेमरेजिस दैन आफ्टर आई कैन से फॉर द क्रॉनिक मल्टीपल स्कैरोसिस लीजन Sometimes it represents a uh, iron depositions for for the neoplasm lesions like a uh, uh, glioblastoma to see whether there is a calcification or a hemorrhage. Then after hemorrhagic disorders like hemosiderins or amyloid angiographies. Then after I can say neurodegenerative disorders in which the intracranial calcifications. or iron depositions you have to rule out then mainly it is used for a diffuse axonal injuries for the brain injuries when there is a diffuse axonal injuries there may be a tiny hemorrhages in a deep subcortical white matter which are mainly not visible on a ct or a conventional mri for that cases always you sh- you should use this swan sequence to rule out the micro bleeds okay then then i will show you the case today i have done in that i have taken this swan sequence here you can see black area susceptibility this is calcification now i will show you the routine sequences why i have taken this sequence first of all this is flare t2 t1 and routine gradient sequence now here in the flare sequence i will show you here is a tiny lesion you can see surrounded by a minimal edema and here in the thin t2 also tiny spot you can see surrounded by edema t1 is a hypo now here in a gr a routine gr sequence here is a tiny calcification seen but to confirm whether there is a calcification or it's a vessel i have taken this swan sequence to rule out the calcification it's a calcified granuloma now i will show you this here the dark lesion seen on the swan sequence sometimes there will be a tiny bleeds or a hemorrhagic infarcts too now you can see now we can correlate with the flare and a swan sequence here is a tiny lesion and here is a tiny lesion seen in a swan sequence okay so this is how you have to run this sequence to diagnose properly calcifications tiny bleeds or a iron deposition hope this video will be helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates thanks for watching